Cover crops are very good for the vegetable garden. They help to keep the soil healthy, save water, and stop the soil from washing away. In this bed, we had some extra carrot and fenugreek seeds, so we just threw them, and they grew very nicely. Now, we will use this cover crop to make the bed ready again for planting. First, we will cut the plants and level them with the soil. We will use a shovel for this, but we will not disturb the soil too much. The plants should be spread evenly over the surface so that they can start breaking down naturally. Their roots will remain inside the soil, which is also very good because they will break down under the ground and create tiny spaces for air and water. This makes the soil soft and helps the next crop grow better. Cutting the plants and keeping them in place also protects the soil from getting too dry or hard under the sun. The soil will stay moist and cool, which is perfect for healthy plant growth. After leveling the plants, we will sprinkle some organic rock phosphate powder. This is a very good thing for the soil because it gives phosphorus, which helps plants grow strong roots and produce more flowers and fruits. Phosphorus does not move around easily in the soil, so adding it now will make sure it is available when the next crop starts growing. It also helps the good bacteria in the soil to do their work properly and keeps the soil fertile for a long time. Rock phosphate does not dissolve immediately like chemical fertilizers, but it works slowly, feeding the soil for many seasons. Next, we will put a layer of fully decomposed manure or compost on top. This step is very important because compost helps to break down the plants faster, turning them into rich, healthy soil. No need to put a thick layer, just a little bit is enough. The compost will keep the moisture in the soil and also help the small organisms, like worms and bacteria, to work properly. This natural method is much better than digging and mixing everything because it allows nature to do the job. As the compost settles on top, it will encourage earthworms to come up and pull nutrients deeper into the soil, improving its quality without any extra effort. Now, we will wait for 10 to 14 days. In this time, the plants will decompose and the nutrients will go back into the soil. The compost will mix with the cover crop naturally, making the bed soft and full of life. Many small creatures in the soil will help to break everything down, and the soil will become very rich and ready for planting. This way, we do not have to use any chemical fertilizers. Everything happens naturally, and the soil stays strong for many years. The best part is that this method does not require extra work. Once the plants and compost are in place, nature will take care of the rest. By following this simple method, we can prepare the bed in a natural way without any chemicals. The soil will stay full of good nutrients and the next crop will grow strong and healthy. After 10 to 14 days, the bed will be fully ready for planting and we'll have a rich, fertile garden full of life. When you harvest vegetables that grow underground, you probably clean them before eating, right? But here's something amazing you might not know. Those veggies carry a hidden treasure. The small amount of soil that comes up with them is packed with beneficial microbes that can help your garden thrive. Instead of just washing them down the drain, you can use this as a chance to create something wonderful for your plants. As you pull vegetables from the soil, a little bit of dirt will naturally cling to their roots and root balls. This dirt is not just plain old soil, it's full of living microbes that are incredibly good for plant growth. But if you want to boost your garden, grab a clean bucket, fill it with non-chlorinated water, and use it to wash your freshly harvested vegetables instead. Why non-chlorinated water? Because chlorine kills microbes, and we want to preserve these little helpers. When you're done washing, you'll notice the water in the bucket has become a bit cloudy. That's not dirt, it's a nutrient-rich, microbe-packed solution. At this stage, you already have something valuable that can be poured directly around your plants to help them grow stronger. But why stop there? You can make this simple liquid even better by turning it into a powerful fertilizer for your garden. To do this, take the vegetable scraps you won't eat, 
like outer leaves, carrot tops, or any other trimmings from the harvest, and chop them up. Add these scraps into the same bucket of microbe rich water. This step enhances the nutrient content of the liquid, turning it into a highly concentrated fertilizer. It's a great way to ensure nothing goes to waste while creating something that will make your plants thrive. Once the scraps are in the bucket, give everything a good mix and cover the container with a lid. Don't seal it too tightly though. The mixture needs some air to help with the fermentation process. Place the bucket in a shaded spot and let it sit for seven days. During this time, the microbes will break down the vegetable scraps, releasing nutrients into the water. The result, a nutrient-packed green liquid that your plants will absolutely love. After a week, your liquid fertilizer is ready to use. If you're not using it right away, that's fine. This mixture can be stored in the same container for weeks. Just be sure to dilute it before applying it to your garden. Use a ratio of one part liquid fertilizer to 10 parts water and pour it directly onto the soil around your plants. This dilution ensures the fertilizer provides plenty of nutrients without overwhelming your plants. When you water your plants with this mixture, you're giving them a double boost. The nutrients from the vegetable scraps and the beneficial microbes from the soil. Over time, you'll notice healthier plants, faster growth, and better yields. It's an easy, sustainable way to recycle the nutrients from your harvest and give back to your garden. So, the next time you harvest vegetables, think twice before washing them in the sink. With just a bucket, some water, and a little patience, you can create a nutrient-rich fertilizer that will work wonders for your plants. It's simple, effective, and a fantastic way to make your gardening efforts even more rewarding. If you enjoyed this tip and want to learn more ways to improve your garden, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.